So I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine that you could actually make a significant uh, affiliate payment. So I'm going to call it affiliate payments for now by helping other people without having to sell anything. So you're not selling, you're simply connecting and you're getting paid four, five, and I need to be real specific on this. One person actually received a six figure payment, uh, but it's only one, right? Majority are four and five figure. But let's just say significant payments by doing good by others, you guys. Um, doing good by others. Um, all right. So I don't care where you live. You could be, you could be in um uh, Mobe, you can be in London, you could be in Atlanta, you can be in Rockville, Maryland, you could be at my the Marriott, I like to stay right there. I mean, you could be anywhere. Doesn't matter where you are. Does not matter where you are. But I, I promise you one thing, and I promised Alicia and I promised Lorette, no hype, very little hype. You're going to notice something different on the slides. I de-hype the entire presentation because you don't need hype for what I'm going to tell you. You don't need, I don't need to hype you. It's just going to make sense. And And Alicia wasn't kidding when she showed us her, her new bags, her two new wallets that she had, you won't need to pull yours out, whether new or old, it doesn't matter. There is no opportunity for you to spend any money. You are not able to sign up for anything. You're not able to dollar, you're not able to dollar trial, three pay, two pay, single pay, nothing. There is nothing for you to pay, okay? I wanna be really clear about number two. So I want you to engage knowing this isn't some, I'm not trying to build trust and rapport and then get you to sign up for something, okay? At all. This is this is a fact. I don't, look, it's working so well. The la I, I used to charge and, and it was it would convert like gangbusters. But then I realized I could shift the model and make it completely free. And that's what I did. Um, I wanna show you, so the fourth, uh, third promise, how you will personally benefit from doing good by others. When I think of two people that are truly good, like wholesome, good people, I think of Alicia and Lorette. They are two of the nicest people and kindest people that I've had the privilege of not only working with, but like Alicia said, I was in a mastermind for a little over a decade with them. And I don't know, we've been in a couple different groups. And But at the end of the day, they're just good. They're, they're, you know, at the end of the day, like their core being, they do good by others and they, they do the right thing. And I try to live my life the same way. Um, and so that last point, for those of you that say, wow, I wish I could do good for others. Well, you can. I'm going to show you how you can help other people with what more than likely is their number one biggest need, right? And still help yourself, right? Still help yourself. I love it, Christy. Well, you're in the right place, okay? You are in the right place. Um, Frankie, you are in the right place too. I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. Frankie Ortiz. Um, all right. So I'm going to give away in the spirit. I've got enough people twisting Alicia's arm. There's no way she's going to say no. I see the people coming in. I, I love it. Little Ree and others and Linda Ben. Shoot. She's Alicia is going to let me you guys at the end. How about this? I'm going to let Alicia and Lorette each give out two winners, um, or one of them could give out four, whatever they prefer, um, at the end of the call. So we'll give $400 gift cards at the end of the call, um, or we can do PayPal payments or whatever, but $100 so you can kind of do something, either pay it forward, do something for somebody in your family, you know, whatever, do something nice. Maybe you just need to do something nice for yourself at the end of the day, right? But at the end of the call, we'll pick four winners. There's nothing to buy. Just be engaged, have fun, connect, and just see if this kind of resonates with something that interests you. That's all you have to do. That's the only ask I have of you, really. And if it does, awesome. Okay, so me, um, so this is me, I guess, well, I was already on the video, but I always you gotta put a picture up, face of the name. So married dad of four, two out of college, or two in college. I got an 11th grader and an eighth grader. And uh, I've been doing local marketing, digital marketing since the 90s. I have an Atlanta-based agency, although my agency has shifted over the last 18 months dramatically to kind of do what we're going to talk about today. And I serve in a 
quasi volunteer position in my county on the school board, which I thought would be this like amazing thing I could get involved in where it wasn't about money. It was just about doing good by others. And then holy cow, COVID hit, guns in schools and all the craziness, the politi politicizing of the schools have happened while I've been in this role. And uh, it's interesting. It wasn't the sleepy role that I thought it was going to be, you guys. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, but anyway, that's me. It's my wife, Rebecca. Uh, this is a recent trip. I, I try to spend time with my family when I can pull them all together. Uh, my son on the left and my middle daughter on the left and then my oldest daughter in the front and my youngest daughter on the right. And we were on our way. Uh, most of the most of the things I like to spend money on are travel. So we were on our way to Europe. We did like a two week trip at, at the holidays, 100% paid for by what we're going to talk about today. Um, what else? Um, most of the time, I do. I, for the record, I do not have a fancy sports car, and I do not live in a mansion. But I do have a cool boat, and I live out on a lake, and uh, spend a lot of time. Hopefully, I didn't violate any game any any boating laws with this many people on the boat. That was 4th of July last year. But, you know, that's a little bit about me, so you get to know me. I've done affiliate marketing, um, ClickBank. I've done uh, SaaS softwares, mostly in the local space, and general marketing, helping business owners. Now, I, I start to put these caveats at the bottom of some of these slides. You're going to see them. It just says I'm a professional marketer, and I have been for a long, long time. And the results you're going to see are not typical. Now, I am not going to talk about myself in general on the call because this disclaimer is accurate. Look, I've had, I, I had a lot of things that have come together that have given me maybe a little extra advantage, right, and past experience and stuff. So what I want to do today is not talk about myself at all. I'm going to highlight other people, other people that are just like every one of you on the call. So yes, Frankie, yes. And let's see, for me, wasn't all, what is that, a dating line? Wasn't all flowers and roses, you know? I uh, I live in Atlanta, not that far from Alicia, and I used to do this. So give me like a five, if any of you either doing this right now, and by this I mean driving to a job you don't like in traffic you can't stand. That was me. And I would drive like eight miles, eight miles in this insanity. Yeah, Sean and Mike, man, right? Um, no, thank you so much, Linda. D Linda, do I say, is it Toussaint? Um, I think, but I'm not sure, but I'm going to defer to you. Um, so I would drive in this traffic every day. Now, my, I'm 51 and change. I'm just shy of 52. And it would take me an hour to go eight miles. That is not enjoyable. So not at all. Um, when I was 33, I ended up having some serious chest pain. I was like, oh, my left arm hurts, right? All the heart stuff. And I had no idea. I'm like, nah, nah, I don't, it's nothing to do with my heart. I'm 33, right? So I ended up spending three weeks stress-related in the hospital. Cardio ICU at uh, Crawford Long, now Emory, on, uh, off Peachtree in downtown Atlanta. And... Yeah, it was crazy. I ended up with pericarditis. It just went away after a month. It was just completely nuts. But I don't know. Anybody here, we did fives. How about how about eights? Give me an eight if you lost your job. Because I managed to pull this one off three times. Uh, twice, I was caught up in the massive, once by email from uh, Xerox. So 10,000 people, I got emailed. <laughs> Another time... Another time, you'll love the next one. Yeah, a lot of eights, right? All right. Another time, it wasn't email. It was voicemail. And I had just been promoted. I was on a honeymoon. And I got the bad news when I got back. So, look, everybody has a story. I know each of you do. And if we could all sit around together, if all of us could be in the living room or at an event, right, in, in the lounge, you know, in a lobby, and we can really talk and get into this, there are some things that are going to come out, and it's it's very similar. It's eerie how similar a lot of our backgrounds are. Alicia and I have talked about it. Now, for me, this whole honeymoon thing was game over. It was the last straw for me. I While I didn't go full-time when that happened, it set me on the path to do my own thing. 
So I was playing the, I'm, I was playing what I call the corporate roulette wheel, <laughs> right? And I finally said, hey, I need to take control, start my own business. And I don't mean, I had been dabbling. I had been a, you know, a part-time entrepreneur, but I needed to take it up a notch, right? And that's kind of, that's me. That is me. Wow, Valerie, Valerie. Oh, I feel that. Um, okay. Let's dive in. Enough chit chat, you guys. I'm going to get to the point really quick, right? And then I'll give you supporting information, but the point will take me 10 minutes, but then I will support the point with other information and then we'll answer questions and stuff. Yeah, a bunch of you, a lot of people just joined, about another 75 or 100 of you. Really quick, you guys, stay involved, stay engaged. There's nothing to sign up. Put your wallet, your credit card, your PayPal away. Um, just enjoy and see if what we're doing resonates. It's completely free. Um, all right, awesome. So all of you, you know, we live in a unique time. Elise and Lorette have done some amazing things teaching people how to be entrepreneurs, how to make money online, right? From micro work to uh, almost anything you can think of. I started thinking about it. I'm like, I'm in an Uber a lot. I've only taken Lyft once ever, which is probably my own fault, but you know, habits, right? Habits, so that's why I'm on the Uber. Um, listen to this. Could you imagine, those of you over 45 or so, could you imagine when we were young in like say high school, that you could download an app to your phone and immediately get a job where you could earn real money right away? Think about it. I love it, James C. Good stuff. Think about it. You could download an app and be an entrepreneur immediately. It's pretty fascinating to me. Like, I don't often think about it. You could start a business, which is kind of what I chose to do. Hey, Renato. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it to you. Renato Anderson, welcome. Um, you found it. You can buy investment property, right? There's all these things we can all do to make money. Um, lots of stuff in the marketing arena. And I'll be honest, Alicia Lorette, They've crushed it in this video. Like, I look at the word on the screen, social media. They've crushed it. Um, but in the beginning, there was no social media in the beginning, right? On the first day, right, there was websites. Ugh. For me, it's an ugh now. But back in the day, in the 90s, this was the coolest thing on the planet, you guys. This was the sizzle. This was chat, GBT. This was AI. At the beginning, web design was where it was at. So, all right, how about this? Search optimization, SEO. Think about this. It's played out a little bit, right? It's flooded with people, mostly me too kind of people, but at the end of the day, massive value over the years here. All these things online, affiliate marketing. Give me like a, give me a one if you've ever dabbled in affiliate marketing in any way. Whether you're, you know, a rock star or you just sort of goofed around with it a little bit. Yeah, a lot of you guys. All right. A lot of people dabbled. I like it. Okay, Sean. Good. All right. Social media. I'm not even going to touch this. We got two queens of social media on the call. Um, mobile marketing, reputation marketing. These are things for local businesses, right? Things you might do for a business. Lead generation. Now, I have dabbled in this one in SEO and websites the most, probably, and affiliate marketing. What I want to talk to you, though, today is going to be the, the connection, the integration of affiliates and lead gen. Um, like all these things we're talking about from Uber on, they're really awesome. On the marketing side, when you work with clients, there's this mm, awful word. It's called but. <laughs> Right. And the reason I say, but is awesome as all these things are, one of the challenges that you will run into, if you haven't already, is that when you try to sell something to a business, not all the businesses know they need what you're selling. And not all the marketers know how to provide the actual service they're selling. So there's like this massive disconnect, right? Um, and, and this disconnect is why so many people struggle. Yeah, Chris said it. Thank you, Chris. 
Chris said, Brian, I spent tons of money. I've never made anything real. Is if you could spend nothing and make several thousand dollars, Chris, uh, just give me a yes if that would be real. Because to me, it would be real. What you just said is real to me. Spent lots of money and haven't made anything real. Chris said yes emphatically with caps. All right. Stay with me, you guys. Because what I want to tell you about is you have to have, we have to have something where the value exceeds the price. Otherwise, it's kind of hard. Honest. Like, I'm an extroverted introvert. I think that's probably fair to say. Like, when I'm around Alicia and Loretta, who I know, I'm, like, super outgoing and extroverted. But I was at an event in Tallahassee the last two days, like a chamber, state of, state of Florida chamber meeting. Oh, it was the worst. I didn't know anybody, and I had to, like, I had to be all plugged in and connected. It was hard for me. So if you're able to – I'm going to say this right now. If you could move out of your comfort zone, whatever it is. So Brian Tracy said this a while back. If you could move out of that comfort zone, if you're willing to get awkward and uncomfortable, just say me. If you are willing, if, only say it if you are, are you willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new? So if it meant you could achieve, Chris, I'm going to pick on you because you know you had a great comment and we were just chatting. If you could hit what you were trying to hit, Chris, and you knew you could do it, but you had to put yourself out there and get a little awkward get a little uncomfortable. Would you do it? Would you be willing to do it? A lot of you are. I love it, Christy Erickson. Well said. All I could think is when I was like in eighth grade, um, don't make fun of me, Lorette, <laughs> or Alicia, I was at a dance, like the middle school dance. I think I had to go. I went with a buddy or two of mine. And there was like a slow song and I had to like put myself out there. I had to be awkward and uncomfortable and walk up and ask somebody to dance. I never forget that moment. Um, I, oh, yeah, it was crazy. So um, if you're willing to, which a lot of you are, you can actually really be successful. There is nothing holding you back. You have to keep a few things in mind. You have to deliver massive value. You have to be willing to go a little bit more than the next person. And, and I, you guys are, I'm reading it. I mean, I'm seeing it. So what's unique about what we're doing and why Alicia Lorette uh, allowed me to come on today is I'm not selling anything. What I'm doing, I'm going to call it a program to keep it simple. What I'm doing is easy to explain. One sentence, pretty easy. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be an expert at all. All right. It has the great potential value to not only the business, but to each of you. Like Chris, when I said, if you could spend nothing and make thousands, would that interest you? And he said, yes. So that's what I'm talking about right now. How can we do that? Nora, so well said. Nora Karambat, I agree. All right. I want, I want you guys to imagine. So... Let's see if Alicia is muted. I'm gonna find her. Hang in. Alicia, are you still here? She's muted. All right, I won't pick on her. I'm unmuted. Okay, you're unmuted. Okay. So March of 2020, I vividly remember March 6th to the 9th of 2020. I was in Rockville, Maryland at that webinar con event with Onik and uh, Ron and uh, Andy. Me and you, and J-Bell, and uh, so many other people, right? So we were there. Now, you guys, we were in our own little bubble. We we're staying at this hotel. It was a Marriott, right? The one by the that water right behind it? I, I can't it remember. Sheraton. It was a Marriott. Sheraton or a Marriott, yeah. yeah. And there was, like, some restaurants behind it. You had to walk around, like, this little mini lake and stuff. But we were at this event. And it was at a, a, a nearby office. And so we'd take a shuttle bus over. And then in the evening, we all went and got food together or groups went and got food. But we were completely outside of the our normal, right? We were, we were in, in our own little world for a couple of days. So when I left there, I, I want to say it was Sunday night or Monday. I think it might have been Monday morning. Yeah, I went to Reagan National Monday morning. And I get there and I'm at the airport. 
everybody, 80% of the people had masks on at the airport. And I, I was like, where are we? What is going on? Like, obviously I had heard of the coronavirus and COVID because of, you know, what had been happening in, um, at the time in China, right? Um, the, you know, there was a lot of news and then some stuff in Italy that was happening, but it hadn't really reached the US. So I want you to imagine that week, right when everything was changing. So I remember it well, because I was with Alicia, I was at this event, and I remember being there in my own little world. And then all of a sudden, like one little thing changes everything. Now this was, you know, obviously for the worse, you know, people, people died, people got sick. I mean, it was horrific. Millions of people worldwide lost their jobs. Think of the, the think of all the negative things that came out of this, right? A lot of negative stuff. So let's, let's think, let's think about this right? That week was the beginning of COVID. The government in America, for those of you that are Americans, responded. <laughs> Glenn, I know. I feel you, Glenn. Um, I have to keep, I'm trying to keep it straight. Um, they came out with something called the Paycheck Protection Program. And the reason they did this, they, they, they passed a law in March called the CARES Act, March of 20. And it was designed to infuse money into businesses so that all the workers in America wouldn't lose their jobs. That's kind of what they did. They did it twice. Now, what's cool about this, we're tying this into money right now. I said I get to the point. Millions of businesses received a piece of the pie. This pie was 659 billion. That's how much money these businesses got, right? Fair. But these were like forgivable loans. And we're not here to talk about PPP other than to, I want to get your head thinking about this. And some of you are not in the US. So a lot of businesses, a large percentage, I don't have a real number, qualified for them. It helped these people. It helped these business owners and their employees and their families and the community. Awesome. That's what happened. The bummer is they went away. They ended. Second round, it was gone, May of 2021. But this same law, right? You know, we always bash politicians. If we're Democrats, we bash Republicans. If we're Republicans, we bash Democrats. If we're uh, independents, we might bash both of them in the US at least. <laughs> and listen to this, guys. The CARES Act was actually kind of brilliant because I want you to imagine something where President Trump, the Democrats, the Republicans, and the independents actually all worked together, agreed on something, and it, and it massively helped people massively helped people and it was called the cares act and it put this, P this ppp money out in the world but it went away however the employee retention tax credit was created in march of 2020 just like the ppp the problem is everybody did the ppp and originally they had a choice they had a choice of one or the other and I see the question already. I made this slide for when John, somebody asked this question. Yes, government entitlement, free program designed to infuse cash or capital into small businesses. So you remember when I said it has to have massive value. Give me a one if you would agree, free money to business owners, right? And I always say free with a caveat, but free money to business owners would actually get them interested, right? Who on the call is not interested in getting a free influx of cash? All of us. Yeah, you guys are with me. A lot of people. All right. So here's the deal. The thing changed in the spirit of government, especially the these political people that like to argue with each other and everybody else, this thing changed four or five times. Originally, you would get 50% of the first 10,000 in qualified wages. So you'd get five grand an employee. So imagine a pizza place. Alicia, remember we, you and me, Greg, uh, Rebecca, we had pizza at that little restaurant and they probably had 15, 20 employees, roughly. We did. Yeah. Okay. So 15 employees, say 15, five grand each, $75,000. Nothing to scoff at, but maybe it doesn't get you excited. I mean, I'd be excited for what it's worth, <laughs> but 
if they got a PPP, they couldn't get this other bucket of money. The business could only get one at the time. And this was kind of a bummer because it ruled out tens of millions of businesses that still needed help. Well, the good news, if you can believe it, is government got together one more time a year later. You'd think this was an internet marketing launch, you guys. They named it the America American Rescue Plan Act. And it, you want excitement? This thing was exciting. Millions and billions to schools, to communities, and additional COVID-19 relief for businesses. I'm only going to focus on the small business stuff that, that, I, that we focus on. So... This thing amended, expanded, enhanced this original program called Employee Retention Tax Credit. So, all right, government, they got it right twice. You're thinking, oh my gosh. Well, now, now businesses that had received the PPP are eligible or were eligible as of uh, March of 21 to receive this other bucket of money. Awesome. <laughs> Toriana, I know, I mean, I know I'm a little jaded, but you know. It's just true, right? So I want you to imagine businesses could get this free money for a period of time from 2020 to 2021, right? Six quarters for the most businesses. There's, there's caveats and exclusions, but six quarters for most businesses. Quarter three months. Yep. Like uh, January to March would be a quarter one. So now, Alicia and I were at this pizza place with 15 employees. At 5,000, they were getting $75,000. Well, then they changed the rules, right? This is government. Now they're giving out 26 grand. Now the key phrase is up to, up to 26 grand per W-2 employee. So that same 15, somebody smarter than me can multiply 15 by 26, right? 260, I don't know. 300 almost four hundred thousand dollars for the same place so a massive infusion of additional monies to business owners bianca i knew you were in south africa i don't know why i knew that are you in joburg remind me where you are okay so so how much money can a business get there you go up to twenty six thousand. that does not mean notice those secret bad words up to that means they might get 26. It's more than likely they're going to get less. All right, let's just keep it real. More than likely they'll get less. So now you're thinking, Brian, get to the point. You're starting to bore me. The government is giving aid money out that businesses don't have to pay back. Great. I'm happy for them. How does it help me? Or Bianca may be thinking, I'm in South Africa. How the heck does this help me? So. Cape Town. I love it. Okay. All right. You know, I wanted to see the Penguins did not make it there next trip, but okay. Free money. How does it help me? How does it help Alicia, Lorette, Brian, Bianca, Toriana, all of you? One, most businesses in America, even now, marketers are going to be like, I've heard of this. Well, most businesses don't know about it. Fact. Two, it's hard. It's complicated. It's far beyond my skill to be able to do on my own. It's far beyond what the average business owner can do. And so when things are hard and when people don't know about it, there, there comes an opportunity, right? I want you to think affiliate. I want you to think exposing them and connecting, being a connector, right? There's an opportunity to kind of play a key role. So once again, I want to mention again, it's hard. I gave a presentation, don't laugh at me, but last fall at the American Institute of CPAs or Certified Public Accountants. And the majority of the CPAs knew very little about the program. I was fascinated. They had heard of it, but they knew very little about it. So I've known this for many years. I had a mentor in one of my early jobs and he taught me, he said, Brian, don't run from, you know, I was like, man, this is going to be hard, the solution. And he said, when something's hard, you don't have to run. It really creates an opportunity. And this guy was teaching me all these different things about how complexity is, isn't necessarily bad. It's actually good. Um, so I want you to think about the gold rush back in the day. 
So the miners, we always hear about the miner, 49er, all the stories about the miners. I don't care if it's California gold rush, if it's the Alaskan gold rush, the one in North Carolina, even the one here in Georgia. There's lots of gold rushes. But during these gold rushes, the miners typically need help. They need supplies. They need things like picks and shovels and Levi jeans, right? Guess where Levi Strauss came from? Guess where that phrase came from? Sell the picks and shovels, right? It came from this. So watch this. Oh, I love this little re. Very, very, very true. I'm going to come back to that actually at a later point. Um, I'm glad you brought that up. So, well, small businesses like the miners still need help. We all may think the economy has rebounded, and it has in the U.S. Um, to a degree. But I want you to think of the business owner that ran up 100, 200,000 of debt, loans, credit cards, whatever. I want you to think of the business owner that did that and went out of business, one, and the one that did that and stayed in business. Yeah, and their business has come back, but they're still carrying a massive load of debt, and they're struggling to get out from under it, right? They need help. So the net net is how can how does this help us? They need you and me, Stephanie, Louis, uh, Jackie, all of you, right? To help connect them with this free money, to help them one figure out are they eligible, and two how they can go after it. So each of you have a superpower that I'm about to bestow upon you. Um, there's no cost for the superpower. You have the ability to help American entrepreneurs. Each of us, I consider an entrepreneur in our own way, right? You have the ability to help American entrepreneurs get access to money from the government that is not required to be paid back. And a very large percentage of them will not even know about it. I want you to think about that for a second. Think about it. Yes, Sue. Yeah, I'm going to hit on what you said. Ah, Christy, I didn't know about the Seattle, so I'm going to have to research that. Thank you. Um, I love it. Alan and Christy with the Seattle stuff. This is excellent. Okay. So the power to help entrepreneurs, right? The number one way to be successful in business is to solve a problem. Would you guys agree that if you could solve a problem, what's a restaurant do? Well, that pizzeria gives us our fix of pizza or the burger place, the burgers, or right? We wanna go out to eat, it gives us a solution. But if you can solve somebody's problem, you're at a good point. All right, so I knew I could do this. I knew, knew, knew it. Um, but I'm gonna be real honest. I am not a tax guy. I'm not an audit professional. And more than likely, 95% of you are not either. There are probably some of you that are, so I'm going to leave out 100. So I said, the way to do this is to have professionals do the work, right? And I'm going to show you kind of what we did. So last year, well, two years ago now, <laughs> I, I knew I didn't, I could never be an accountant. I'm not a CPA but I partnered with an existing CPA firm and they specialized in doing this work. And they're really nice people, really liked them. Like genuinely liked them. I had dinner a few times, visited with them. They came to my offices, vice versa. Um, they agreed to pay me money for sending them leads. And you probably know what's about to happen or you're gonna guess. I, I did a good job. I generated so much business that they weren't able to handle it. It was bad. It was real bad. Let me get let me give you an example. Imagine generating 705 leads or deals and they could barely call them back. They couldn't they just couldn't handle it. They ended up helping like two people in the first 30 days and after like 90 days they had helped a total of like seven or eight. They were completely overwhelmed and just didn't know what to do. So, I had to go back to the drawing board. This is no longer last fall. Uh, it's two falls ago. I went back to the drawing board and I said, I could do better than this. I've been around the block. I've taken my lumps. I, I know what doesn't work. I know what does. All Everything that you've ever done, tell me if you guys agree with this. 
everything, every experience you've ever had, whether it was good or bad, a breakup, a job situation, schooling, uh, a challenge in your life, right? It led you to be the person you are and it led you maybe to this webinar today with Alicia and Lorette, right? I believe that. I don't know if I always did, but as I got older, I really started to see how that was very true. Very true. Every single one. So I wanted to be more than an affiliate in this case because I, I knew I had something to offer that they, they these other guys didn't have. I needed to be a strategic partner. Um, I spoke with countless firms. I found the best company I could find ignoring marketers. I'm a marketer. I love marketers, but I don't love marketers to do accounting. <laughs> I love marketers to do marketing, right? I think we can all agree. Um, all right. I cut a deal for money, more money, more support, a seat at the table, and direct access to the team. And that's what happened. All right. Now you may be thinking, Brian, it's great. I live in the US. I don't live in the US. I see, I kind of get what you're doing. You're basically referring business to CPA firms and getting paid, yes. You're thinking, I'm not a business. How much money can I make? How much money can I make? So on average, the referrals pay you between 1.8 and 4% of the amount collected for the business. And there are all kind of reasons why it varies. Uh, you know, one one is the fee the business pays. If they pay up front, they pay less. If they if they defer the payment, they pay more, et cetera, right? All right. So you're making a couple points on however much they're getting. So I didn't have permission to use all these businesses' information. So this is my younger brother's air conditioning company, Anderson Air in Pensacola, Florida. If you happen to live there, I do recommend it. And if you talk to my brother, tell him you want a discount. <laughs> Tell him you're on a webinar with me, and you told I told him that he has to. Um, he would laugh so hard. But um, so a typical business, you can see my brother's place. He's got four or five trucks, I think. I think they got five now. I think they got eleven employees. Eleven employees, husband and wife. He and his wife, nine other employees. I'm gonna tell you. He got. Does anybody know what he got? Eleven employees. What do you guys think? And then I'll tell you. Just take a guess. It's all right. No matter what you say, it won't be wrong. Oh, yeah. 10,000. Nope. It's a good one, Faith. 250, 200. Stephanie and Kimberly, 100,000. Okay, he got 204,000. Kimberly was pretty close. $204,000 because he kept his employees on the payroll. $204,000. So let's, let's do some math. So I made this slide apparently on December 18th. I should re redo the slide. I sampled 432 recent deals. I mean, we've done thousands and thousands of deals. So I sampled some recent deals. The average deal, the average money back to the business over this sample group was $159,108.85. Now, I want you to imagine if somebody helped you get $159,000, you're going to be pretty happy. Can we all agree? You're going to be pretty happy if you were the business owner. Really happy. Now, I want you to look on the far right. The largest deal in this specific sample size was $2.2 million. And it was a nonprofit. How many of you feel you're passionate about nonprofits, charities, churches, or doing good by others? Is that something that interests you? Do you feel do you feel good warmth when you hear about people doing that kind of work? Wait till I tell you what this this specific business was. Bianca's like, yeah, a lot of you guys. I okay, this is good. Hey, Joe Jabons, I see Joe. I see a lot of people here. Uh, okay, largest deal. 2.2 million. You ready for this? I want you to imagine what 2.2 million dollars can do for a charity that helps the homeless and provides prenatal care to homeless women. That was the deal. A California charity. I don't want to name the name, but a California charity that did this work. 
pretty awesome. Two million dollars. Now, obviously, the agent, the person who referred it, was remunerated, and they made a nice amount of money. So, the lowest payout to to somebody like Faith or Stephanie or Toriana or Alicia or Brian or Lorette, the lowest payout on a typical deal, an average size deal, would be twenty eight hundred dollars. So Tom, I think it was you earlier, right, my friend? Oh, I think it was Tom. Am I wrong? Earlier, we were talking about not being successful and not making money. I want you to think about what if you could help somebody for free, help somebody for free, and you could get $2,863. And what if I told you that was the lowest payout that you could possibly receive? on that deal the highest payout on the same size deal was seven thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars think about that you could make somewhere between twenty eight hundred and seventy one hundred dollars right not not too shabby and you may be thinking why the range well funny enough it's about choice for the business some businesses pay less in fees some businesses pay more right and there's a bunch of reasons behind it but that that's why there's a range so as you can see depending on the amount collected it could be a substantial check payment to you right i'm trying hey you guys i know this is kind of boring because i am not hyping you at all i hope you see that i there is no hype here everything i'm giving you is the straight scoop straight scoop facts now, the next question you should have in your mind is, can I do this? All right, let me answer it. Nora asked it. I said, if somebody asked, I would answer it. How much did the person who referred that nonprofit for 2.2 million get paid? The gentleman from Michigan received 99,200 and some odd dollars, if I remember. And, and it was so close to 100, I uh, I rounded it up and made sure he got a hundred thousand dollars. Pretty awesome. So, but can you do it? Because what good is it whether you have to pay or it's free if you can't do it, right? Can you do it? That, my friends, is important. Yeah, and the guy is super nice. Um, I'm I'm actually going to meet him for the first time. I have a live event on March eighth, and I'm going to meet him. I've never met him. Um, okay, so I, I drew something on a napkin and I cannot draw, I cannot color, and I don't do graphics. But fortunately, Vanessa on my team made me this. Um, basically, if you identify prospects, step one, refer them to your website, step two, done. That's all you have to do. If you decide to get more involved and do a little bit more, you can make more money. Crazy, right? That's it. Now, Little Reese said, holy guacamole. I love guacamole, by the way. I wish that was me. Well, we've had hundreds and hundreds of members do similar stuff. That happened to be one of the biggest ever, truthfully. Let me show you what real people are saying. I said that I, I am not going to share any money that I made because that's not real for everybody else. Let me keep it real. So I've got people in general are really happy. I mean, I would probably be happy too. In general, I get thank you letters, Christmas cards, um, generally nice messages and emails because people are happy. Larry, this guy is awesome. Um, he's, a, he's a little bit of a pessimist. But we literally do 95% of the work for the members. Not all, but 95% of the work. He's right. Scott, who I never met, but I've chatted with online. Um, he ran it by his CPA, his own CPA. His CPA loved it, said, I think you should do this, Scott. So pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to take a pause. Um, because 
we're at an hour and I, and I don't want to have to change the flow, but I have all of you guys wanting to sign up. It, it's free, you guys, but I want to explain things. But I'm going to give you a link in a minute. Is that cool? If you give me a minute, I'm going to put a link out there and then I'm going to finish with what we're doing. Tim signed up. At, he was one of the first ones, signed up a health and wellness company and 24 employees. Now, I want you to imagine 24 times up to $26,000, right? 24 times up to $26,000. So that business made some money. My friend Burgess, you know, I only know him online, but I really like this guy. He's done so many deals. When I made the slide, he had done seven. And look, this is his experience. I put results not typical, et cetera, on the bottom. You could do more, you could do less, you could do nothing. You guys know that. We deliver all kinds of training, people in general. I, I like three or four live calls a week. Um, it's important, right? The connection on training, right? I've attended many of Alicia and Lorette's trainings. As, a, as an attendee, I've been a guest, I've been an attendee. You may see on their Instagram, I'm active, I engage with their posts, I comment, I follow, right? I believe that for those that are willing to put themselves out there and engage and participate, you can do this. You can, just like Ray did, Ray Powell. He helped a deli restaurant with 33 employees or Susan had helped a small doctor's office. Amanda helped I still don't know what this is, but an eyelash extension business. I mean, I guess I can imagine it. I don't understand it. Um, Mark, this guy's been beast mode. I think he's done like 60 deals or something. This was his first one. Steve, coffee cafe. He's done a bunch of restaurants, this guy. Cynthia did a grocery store. How many of you have a friend that you've known since elementary school, like grade school, in case you don't have elementary school. Does anybody still have friends you've known forever? Yeah, Stephanie and Mike, I see it, yep, Jacqueline. Okay, well, I love it, a lot of you guys do. All right, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna give you a link right now. Vanessa, are you on this call? No, Vanessa's not, I, I told her I would handle it. Um, Y'all, <laughs> Raina is on. She can put the link in. Will she put the link in? Oh, Alicia, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Raina, will you put the link out? I'm just going to give people the link right now. If you want the link, say link, and Raina will reply and give you the link. And she's going to reply only to you, because if you don't want the link, I don't want to distract you. But if you want to sign up and you want to keep listening, but you, you're impatient like I am, you don't have to wait. Because I... <laughs> Alicia knows I'm a hothead. I, sometimes I do not like to wait. I'm like, let's go. Let's do this thing. Okay. All right. So in the background, Rain is going to help you. I promise you she's going to write you. It's just going to be for you and for a few of you that said link. Okay, cool. Now, here's what we're going to do. Naomi had a friend she knew since elementary school that owned a couple breakfast restaurants. Naomi made a large multiple five-figure payout helping her friend and she ended up doing 11 deals on the day i made the slide i'm talking fifty thousand plus to naomi for helping her friend she's known since grade school get free money from the government think about it crazy and real frank I'm hoping to meet this guy at our event. I've never met him before. Beast mode. When I made the slide, he had 16 deals. He's just racking them up, deal after deal after deal. Um, think of each deal. Somebody said, well, how much money is that? Let's say I told you between 3K and 7K on average. So let's call it 5K. That's probably 80,000 to Frank. Probably more, but I, you know, I'm going to give you a you know, ballpark. This guy is awesome. His name's Antoine, and he is the one that helped the nonprofit with the big payout. Super guy. I'm really looking forward to meeting him in person. So I, I'm just saying these are real people. Notice I didn't put my picture up here. 
None of that stuff. You don't care how much I'm making at all. And you shouldn't care. Remember that. This is about other people. Because the question is, what about you? Not what about Brian? This guy, Tommy, is the most technically illiterate. He's such a good guy. I've become friends with him the last couple of years, uh, last seven or eight years. But he's done like 29 deals. That's he and his wife, uh, Sherry. Um, remember, these are individual experiences. Results are not typical. I have to say these kind of things in this weird world we live in. Nothing's guaranteed. I say these things because it's important to be honest. Gina Reynolds, she's in South Florida somewhere. She did 11 deals. Guys, these are so easy. Remember, is she's just referring people. Mark, 30 deals when we made the slide. I told you the guy's done a lot. You can see on the right, it's like a view of some of his deals. This is a husband and wife. Have you ever said I want to do something with my, my partner, my spouse, my kid, my mom, whatever it might be, right? Ron and Kim, they're somewhere out Pacific, no, uh, Desert Southwest somewhere, I think. Um, they've done 18 deals. And I need to make new slides. I made these a couple months ago because I think they've done more. Um, they're going to be at our event. I'm really excited to have them here. Um, all right. What else? Bud Clark, he's in Utah, small town in Utah, 12 deals. 12 deals. Okay, so I'm just showing you different people. Stanley, never met this guy. He's had deals that have been multiple five figures. I can tell you that. He's had multiple deals that are multiple five figures. Seems like a salt of the earth guy when I've chatted with him. Pretty good person. And he's he's just done deal after deal after deal, 30 plus deals, right? What if I don't live in the US? Well, Sean V doesn't either. I believe that's his wife. Um, Cause I wanna say he said he had some kids and they would be traveling. He's done 20 plus deals, non-US. Jeremy, at the time I did this, 12 plus deals. Herschel, this guy's awesome. He did a little, uh, right near Jason Bell. Um, Alicia, he did a little five location restaurant was one of his deals. Nice, I personally nice. talked to this business owner right down the road from Jason. And nice. yeah, this guy's awesome. I, I believe that Herschel and Jason know each other, but listen, these are all real people. You guys, they're not me. I'm not giving you Alicia's numbers. This is normal people. This Now, this picture's crazy. Roland's probably thinking, Brian, what are you doing? But I, this picture, uh, <laughs> I had to put it up there. I think he was at a party and this guy has been crushing it. I don't know. Vast majority of these people, I do not know. 45 deals right? Herb, this guy's made a whole business out of helping churches. Churches. He's just getting rocking and rolling, right? All these are just real people. Norma just texted me because she had another one and I've become friends with her. Uh, what, she had a deal, almost $3 million to the business. It was a multi-location franchise, kind of like a top golf, but it wasn't golf. It was like a hitting balls, uh, hitting like softball, baseballs. Um, I'm just showing you different people. Steve with 13 deals, rocking them out. Notice these are different people, all walks of life, all parts of the country, international, all making money. They just come in day after day after day, 20 members getting a new deal on the day I took the screenshot. Think about that. Well, listen, it doesn't always go well. You know, I've been on webinars too. And man, everything's sunshine and rainbows, right? Well, we got this guy, Andy. He's up in the central, north central part of the US, northern Midwest, I think. And man, he was writing this off. Another money losing program. What a waste of time. This guy was not happy. Not happy. Remember, five steps. Refer them, website done or you can do more and earn a higher percentage 
So what I did is I had one of our team work with him. I can tell you that somewhere in the last couple of weeks, not only did this guy get two or three deals right after this, you can see this is December of 21. Within the last few weeks, he had a multiple five-figure payout. Look, it's not always easy. It's not always perfect, right? But if you're willing to suspend disbelief, roll your sleeves up, be a little uncomfortable, all these examples, while they're not typical, you're seeing a common trend, lots of typical people having success. So remember, it's really as easy as these steps, that easy. And step one and two is all you really have to do. So before we finish this thing up, how many of you get what we're doing and you think this is pretty awesome? You don't have to, but if you do, let me know. Because listen, one, there's no money. You don't have to pay anything at all. There's no credit card. I'm not going to ask you for a credit card, et cetera. Um, if you're excited about it, it's real. <laughs> Tamika said, Brian, I do believe this is awesome. It's very doable, like a few of you, right? Frankie said, explain what a person, okay, yeah, I will, Frankie, let me do it. Excited to try, hard to believe this is true. It, I agree with that. Hard to believe this is true is very fair. So this is as real as it gets. So I want to introduce our company, uh, ERTC Express. So employee retention tax credit, right? I'm going to tell you some goods and bads, though, in a second. This is one of the largest firms in the country focused exclusively on this, heavily focused around compliance. I'm a big believer in doing the right thing. In this case, certified public accountants. So we have CPAs that work for the company, both in-house as W-2 employees and even external as third-party companies, right? And they do the work. There's no work done by any marketer like Brian because I'm not qualified to do this work. And we have this thing called the power of three. I gotta update my slide because we've done well over 11,000. I think we're over 20,000. Um, and what's cool about the power of three is we have three different accounting teams look at the files. And we really drill down on, is this business qualified? How much and why, right? And that's kind of the value. So this is our office in Tampa, Florida. We're the third floor, majority of the third floor of that building. I am in the Atlanta office. Um, we have a Miami and New York location. We've all but shut down Nashville, but we still have the offices there. We've kind of consolidated into Tampa and Atlanta. Um, just trying to show you that it is real, right? Um, what do we do? We, we do one thing and we'll hopefully do it well, which is help businesses qualify for this tax credit, the ERTC tax credit. Here's some of the team. You'll see uh, myself kind of left center. In the middle is our CEO, that's John Sousa, and then different members of the team. Um, what else? Well, there's other companies that do this, right? Yes. I, I'm not here to talk about them, but there are other companies. Well, we focus on compliance. We're not going to rubber stamp a business just to make money. I have no involvement in whether a company is qualified or not. All our files are evaluated by CPAs, and that's important. If you don't live in the U.S., uh, it's like, like a chartered financial accountant in the U.K. or in other parts of the world. This is the highest level accounting designation, and these are experts that are allowed to practice before the Internal Revenue Service in America. And then we also have a system we call a lockbox system, and it's like we don't have to guess if the client's going to pay us. I bet Alicia and Lorette will love this. So we will let the client not pay up front if they don't want to, right? We'll let them pay up front or, or defer to later. And then we use like a middleman, Alicia, like, like a closing attorney that handles yeah. all the receipt of the money. And then when it's time to get paid, we don't have to go, hi, Mr. Business Owner, uh, can you please pay our invoice? <laughs> Makes we sense. don't have to do that, right? We just get a check from the escrow company. Every week I get a FedEx with lots and lots of checks that are paying out our members. So it's kind of like when you're doing real estate, really. So Stephanie, I'm from Pensacola. So, uh, and that's why my brother lives there. So I grew up in Myrtle Grove and went to Escambia High School back in the 80s. So 
funny enough, right? There we go. We have commonality. Um, now, who are we really? If you want to look at a website, we are the wholesale. So Express, we're the wholesale side of ERTC.com. We've got thousands of team members across the country. We've got a core team of CPAs. We've got an elaborate process to protect payments and commissions. Um, this is my goofy self teaching a class to the AI CPA, the American Institute of CPAs. I promise you guys, if you had ever asked me two, three years ago, if I would ever talk about accounting on a webinar, I would have laughed you right out of the room. Craziness, right? So, yep, uh, Frankie, we could do that for you. Um, all right. What is the agent program, guys? It's really, and, I, and that's the collective guys, that's the guys and gals. Um, exclusive affiliate system designed to allow you to refer small businesses. You get commission on every deal that's approved and paid out by the government. Um, right now, we're batting 100%. There's been no turndowns. Unique product offering. Many businesses, not all, but many, are unaware this even exists. You can partner with our team to do all the work and make all the money with the least amount of hassle. I've got training. I teach you everything in module one, the who, what, when, where, why, and how much. In module two, it's about getting to the money. This is what most people care about and we focus heavily on how to do that. Module three, I teach you how to get and generate leads from our circle formula to all kinds of different funnels that we've got working pretty well. Module four, I bet some of you are thinking, what are the best kinds of businesses? <laughs> I promise you, I have been asked that question before. And guess what? Module four addresses that question exactly. Module five, nope, four modules, guys. That's it. It's not complicated. I got all kind of marketing related collateral flyers, videos, leave behinds, everything you can imagine. Facebook, LinkedIn. I've got lots of bonuses. Listen, at this point, I know I've already given you the link because I know a lot of you are like me, impatient. Let me know if you're excited still. Give me a one. Let me know. Let Alicia and Lorette know that you're really glad they they let me come on because it's, you know. It's hard to get it's hard to get a date with these two. It was hard. I was like, come on. All right, let's see. <laughs> no, Alicia's gonna kill me. I just had to come in and laugh for a minute. I know, I know, you're killing me, right? <laughs> we love you. We love you. I know, I know. I, I love it. Listen, you guys, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is the most fun I've ever had working more than I ever had in my life. All right. That's it, you guys. I'm going to give you the bonuses. Everybody's going to get a website free. Um, it's I have an old one, but the new one is going to look something like ERTC.com. I don't even have a slide on it. You can look at ERTC.com and you can kind of get a flavor for it, okay? Um, but it has all kind of content, except it looks different now. Um, it has all kinds of stuff and case studies and examples and process. But at the end of the day, this is the most important part of the webinar right now, this very second. All you have to do is have the business fill out this little form, nine fields, nine fields. If they do this, they are coded to you, they are in the system and you're ready to rock and roll. So, Oh, Sarah, thank you. Um, so this is it, and it's all done for you because you know why we do it all for you? Notice on this slide, there was no step that said, build a website. <laughs> yep, I have, Glenn, I do a lot of focus on non-US people, how they can be successful. Because we do have, I had a guy in Pakistan, young man, uh, outside of Karachi, maybe an hour and a half, he said, he's done like seven deals. He's in a village outside of Pakistan. For any of you that live in the US, Canada, UK, you can do this. You can do this from anywhere. We have Arrow in the UK, awesome guy, retired pastor, right? We have people like uh, Gail in New Jersey. 
And I, and I, I kept this slide because she said this on a webinar and nobody had ever said this. Nobody had ever said this to me before. This is almost a year and a half ago she said this. She said, Brian, this opportunity is the very best thing I have ever seen. So thank you so much for getting us involved. And it meant a lot to me. She probably doesn't even realize it. Alicia and Lorette know. Like, you guys, I will tell you, they throw their hearts, their souls. They, they want to help. Alicia and Lorette want to help. I want to help. When you hear something like this, you really feel good. Hundreds of deals are happening. Somebody said, how many deals? On any given day, there's, there's probably 500 deals a day coming in from you know various members or myself. I have a problem. Um, you're going to laugh, Bianca. You are going to laugh. Ready? <laughs> I have a problem. One of my biggest problems is when people get deals and they don't fill out their payment information and I can't pay them. I'm not kidding. I have 15 or 16 people right now that I owe money to that I am chasing to give me their information so I can pay them. <laughs> I can't make that up. 15 plus people right now. Stephanie's like, Brian, that will never be me. And you know what? When you join for free, and are not asked to pay anything or to do a dollar trial or anything. When you sign up, you're going to see, you're going to get a couple of emails. One of them, if you're in the U.S., asks you to set up an account on our ACH system. Because then I can direct pay via ACH right to your bank electronically with same-day payments. So I ask that people do that on the front end now because I'm very sure. I'm not 100%, but I have a high degree of certainty that you're going to be successful. So ertcexpress.com forward slash Alicia, right? It's really that easy. You can sign up. If you've signed up already, just say, I signed up. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. You know, it's hard when you're on a webinar. You know, I can chit chat with Alicia and Lorette, but I don't get to talk to each of you. Um, yeah, okay. I love it. A few Raina, of you signed up. From hey, Brian, we're going to put the link in the chat box now, if that's okay with you. Can we just put it directly yes. in? Oh, the yes, box? please, please. Okay. And then one question is just about your unique ID, the ERTC Express Field Agent ID. Can that just be your name, like your first and last name, or can your name, your or your name nickname? Can be anything you want, and if you want to change it later, I can change it for you later. Okay, great. Don't let it hold you up. I should have said that. I'm, it it comes up all the time. It's like a slug on a on a website, right? Like a part of the website URL. It can be changed though. It can. I, I would totally do your name. If you have a business name, do your business name. Do whatever name you want to do. Can you do this if you're a business? Yes. Can you do this if you're a person, not a business? Yes. Can you do this if you live in the U.S.? Yes. <laughs> Outside of the U.S.? Yes. Um, if you need help, I'm the worst at helping people because I get overwhelmed easy, but I have a pretty good team. They're here in Atlanta. We have, we have overflown Philippines. We have a good support team here in Atlanta. If you use that support URL, they are going to help you get signed up. I have Nicole and Jalisa, Stephanie. I have a bunch of people here, and they're super helpful. Um, they're literally an office or two away from me, and they're probably thinking, oh, Brian, Brian's going to get me a lot of support tickets. <laughs> um, Flo, we will we'll make sure we take care of you, okay? You're good. Um, listen. All kinds of questions. This one, I wrote some out. Alicia, I wrote a few out that people tend to ask. What's the turnaround time? From the minute we sign somebody up to the day we get a check. Now, what if I told you guys the truth is it depends? Because that's the honest truth. You probably wouldn't like that answer. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. But how about this? I gave you examples. The fastest one I've seen is 11 days. So 11 days from filling out the form to being complete. Average is like four weeks. I want you to think about if you were buying a house, at least in the U.S., it takes three or four weeks typically to go through the, the hurdles and, and complete the process. It's, it's three or four weeks here too. If the business is prompt, if the business owner is on it, it can be done in two weeks. 
If they're not prompt, expect three or four weeks, realistically. It's just kind of how it goes. Yes, Christy Erickson said, and I mean this for any of you, can I pass this on to a relative or friend who couldn't respond to my notice? So, Christy, yeah, make sure you use Alicia's link. One, two. You'll need to do it in the next three to five days, but you can definitely do that. Um, let me see. I'm trying to find. So I had this guy. He's a different member. I'm trying to keep it about other people, right? And I've met him through this process. Um, he signed up a restaurant with over 500 employees. He signed up a landscaper, and he's telling a story about the truck and the diesel smell outside. The guy has done exceedingly well. He's a super nice guy. I met him and his – Alicia, I was in a webinar con three, I guess, at Austin, and I met, I met uh, Tito's – at the hotel bar, he and his son, and then I met him at David Gonzalez's internet marketing party. So, uh, mm -hmm, super okay. nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Just all these people. Like, think about it. Here's this. Here's a member Burgess. I mentioned him earlier with some of his family. Picked up pizza, and a 200 employee deal. So, if you guys are fired up, you should be because this is really awesome. I have all these other bonuses. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about the bonuses. I'm not even going to tell you. Here's why. I'd rather spend the next few minutes talking with you. I'd rather, if you decide to sign up, you'll have to believe me. On the other side of the curtain, you're going to get some bonuses. Is that cool? If I just, if I, can I just be real and leave it like that, you guys? If, if, if this suits you, you're going to get some bonuses. If it doesn't suit you, that's okay. You don't care about the bonuses anyway. It's that easy. So I want you to think about something. No excuses, no obstacles, no failing at getting clients, no technical skills required, no mastery of paid traffic, none of the headaches of a marketing agency, right? This is as real as it gets. My son is in college. Tamika said, can he sign up? Yes. My son is a sophomore in college also, and he's doing it, Tamika. Um, I love it. Is the unique ID generated? Yeah, put in an ID there, Violet, okay? Anything you want. Could be your uh, first name, last initial. I think that would be super. Um, what else? Let's see. What requirements are needed for the business? What hook do we use to promote to businesses? Okay, this is a great question. Nikithia asked this, and let me tell you, typically we want five employees. Truthfully, if they have three employees, it's probably okay. They just let more employees equals more money. From a on the big side, Nikithia, if they as long as they have 500 and le or less full time employees, they may be eligible. And then there's a requirement on they have to meet another hurdle. They had to either lost a certain amount of money in certain tax periods because of the pandemic, or they had to be a affected by the government any level of government shutting down or affecting or altering their business right crazy so what happens after you sign up right you're probably thinking what happens after you sign up well you get i'm a marketer i should have put them all in one but i, I send you a bunch of emails <laughs> um you're gonna get a thank you you're going to get your page. This is going to pop up on the screen. That's going to pop up. You're going to get four follow-up emails. One is going to give you access to see your deals, like kind of like your tracking, your back office. Second one is going to give you our lawyers. The company has lawyers, unfortunately, guys. And you got to sign this agreement that basically says you're not going to be a bad actor or do things that would get the company and yourself in trouble. That's basically what it says. Number three is important. If you live in the U.S., I want you to sign up in this system called Every, which is independent from us, third-party system. And this is how we can pay you same day through uh, ACH. If you're international, almost always we use a bank wire. 
okay? And then we invite you to come to some training calls. We typically do calls at 11 a.m. Eastern, but you can listen to the recordings. And we do lots of calls, lots of days in the week. We have live events, they're, they're free. We do everything we can. So the invite to the portal will look something like this. The invite to the uh, NDA, um, basically saying you're not gonna do bad things will look something like this. I know this seems like a lot, I know it does. It's overwhelming sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. You do one thing at a time and it all works out. This every is gonna look lo something like this. Okay. And you'll get an invite with a log on, right? To a back office and you'll have a log on to, to webinars and training and stuff like that. And that's really it. There's there's no cost. I'm not going to ask you to pay anything. There is there is no opportunity at this time for you to pay any money. Uh, like I said, I had a paid version. Um, I discontinued that maybe a year ago. It's been a while. And, but at the end of the day, I had so many people successful that I realized I was I was the limiting effect on the whole opportunity because I was limiting who could be involved. And who was I to say that somebody that didn't have any money couldn't plug into this and be successful? And I realized that why well, do I don't need to charge? I don't need to charge a fee. So for all of you that ever said, I need to find that thing. I need to find that thing that puts money in my account, my retirement account, pays off my debt, my house, my cars, my parents, this or that, right? This might be that thing. It has been for me. I've been super fortunate, honestly. I'd be remiss if I didn't, if I didn't, if I wasn't really grateful. But it isn't just me. You saw just some of the people, some of the people that have been very, very, very successful. Is this like an MLM? No. Um, so no MLM. Um, so we have an option. Um, it's not available right now where you can build a team and we can talk about that on one of the calls. Um, if you're interested in that, I had discontinued all that when I turned off the paid version. I'd have to see how I can make that available to people. Um, but but yeah, it's a great question. I'm glad you guys asked it. Somebody says, do I do cold calls to get business? I do not, Renata. I do not. There are people that do. Um, there are some members that do. I do not. Um, I'm using LinkedIn, email, word of mouth, uh, referrals from friends. But most of my stuff is email and uh, LinkedIn for me. Um, what else? Thank you. First, I want to say thank you guys, not only to every one of you on the call, like Paulette and Sarah, and Valerie, all of you guys, Frankie. Um, you can put anything you want in the agent ID field. So Frankie, you could put Frankie O if you wanted. Okay. Totally fine. As soon as you do this and sign up, you're going to have a link and you're ready to rock, Linda. It's going to be instant from when you sign up. You'll have a link right away. Thank you guys. So how long, uh, Chona said, how long is this money available? We have a, a rapidly narrowing window. It's only negative, you guys. We have about 18 months left to help as many entrepreneurs across the country as we can. I want you to think about that. I want you to just put a number in the chat right now. How many businesses? How many businesses can you help in 18 months? How many can you get on board? How many can you share this with? Yeah, of course, there's an element of you making money. Yes, but I want you to shift. If you shift from how much money can I make to, right? How many people can I help? I'm going to tell you, you're going to be more successful, all of you. Look at the numbers. Yeah, lots and lots of social proof, Nikithia. Yep. You can make up your field agent ID, uh, Naoki. Um, yeah, there's never any fees. 
uh, Kimberly. I mean, I had a paid version. I don't even sell it anymore. Um, but no, I'm not going to all of a sudden say you got to pay X or something like that. So there's no fee. Choose anything you want on the agent side. Do you have a list of businesses? Yes, you get all that kind of stuff, uh, Val. Somebody said I can help 10. Valerie said 50. Kareen said 20. I can help lots. 100 to 150, Daryl. See, think about that. What if Daryl made, I'm going to say $5,000. I'm going to make up a number. And he helped 150 companies. Well, that's a big number to Daryl. We don't have to do the math, but you can think about it, right? Bianca said, I can help 30. Violet said 25. Christy said, I'm pretty sure I could connect over 40. Stephanie said, I could definitely help 20. If you help 20 businesses, it'd be realistic. You could see high five figures, if not six figures plus. Well said, uh, Toriana. Thousands. Jeremiah Jones, thousands. I want, imagine if you helped a thousand businesses. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to show you ways to kind of think beyond your normal strategies. What if I told you I've done, personally done, almost 5,000? 5,000, personally. Think about that. I don't know 5,000 businesses. I eat at the same couple restaurants. I go to the same, I frequent the same places, but I'll share and show you what I did. Anybody can do it, right? Anybody can do this. Well, what I want to do is I want to thank all of you. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, Jordan, thank you so much. I mean, I'm really, really grateful. Um, I don't even do that many webinars anymore because I've been so buried in this. And But I could not be here. I mean, truly, I could not not be on this call. And I promise you, this is this is a really good opportunity. It doesn't mean it's the best opportunity for everybody, but for some of you, it will allow you to take what you've learned from Alicia, you've learned from Lorette, you've learned from maybe somebody else, and you're going to be able to put that to use. You're going to apply it and make money because all I really do is do 101, like intro level marketing, and I'm I'm super successful. Right, let's be honest. How many of you think it's hard to give away free money? <laughs> it's not. It's not at all, right? And there's nuances and there's a lot more to dig into, but I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to go too deep on the call. I want to focus on one, the value we bring to the American entrepreneur and two, the opportunity for yourself. And the nice thing is I can tell you, you're welcome to go to ERTC.com. You're welcome to you know, we'll send you some follow-up emails, I'm sure. You're welcome to replay the webinar, but there really is no fee to get started. You can do this. You can actually refer businesses as soon as today, right now. It's 3.40 p.m. on the East Coast. You could refer your first business by four o'clock. If you got a buddy, a friend, um, somebody you know that owns a business, you could call him or her up, find out if they've already done this. Odds are mathematically they haven't because less than 2% of all businesses have done this. 2% or less. So if they haven't done it, you can get them to sign up. They can talk with one of the experts at ERTC.com and have one of the CPAs there do the work. And you're not even in the middle. You're just referring them over. You could do that in the next 17 and a half minutes and have your first deal. As a matter of fact, I'm going to find whoever the first person referred by Alicia that sends over a deal. And I'm going to send you something. Um, I'm going to send you something personal. Uh, but what I want to do, if I can, is let's take a pause. Alicia, could we do a giveaway for a minute? Would that be okay? Absolutely, Brian. Let's give something away. Let's do it. All right. Let's give away. You want to do $100 gift cards? Um, yeah, I love $100 gift cards. Yeah, but wouldn't you love $250 more? <laughs> sure. What are All we right. talking about here? Let's do it. All right, four $250 gift cards. Let's four do... $250 gift cards. Okay, love it. I love Just it. Pick, pick whoever, anybody. It could be a gift card or a... I don't use PayPal anymore, y'all. They, they, uh, they put me on the uh, we don't like you anymore, Brian, list, but... 
I'm sure my team can send them to you in some capacity, um, okay. or I can, or I can give it to Alicia and then she can send them to you. But listen, okay. let's pick four people. Um, okay. Whoever you I think. Know. I mean, because there's so many of them, I would have a hard time picking, and I will be much happier, <laughs> much happier knowing you're picking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the first person I'm going to pick is Linda, because Linda um, brought a friend on with her when she heard about the topic today. So Linda Bin will be our first winner. So thank you, Linda, for, you know, going out and bringing a friend on. That was really awesome. So how, so Linda, if you just send your information in, Raina can gra grab your information. And let me look for somebody now who has signed up. So I'm looking for people who are saying that they've signed up for the next one. Um, and I'm actually gonna let Lorette pick the next one. So Lorette, tell me in the chat, who are you going to pick for the next one? Say, hang on, all right. So Lorette is choosing Amanda because Amanda brought someone on as well. Are you on here, Amanda? You have to still be on and have signed up. <laughs> I love that. So let's make sure Linda. Okay, Linda's here. She said thank you. Okay, Linda, send your you can send your information here to um to Raina. And so all right, so now I'm looking for Amanda. Um, everybody's saying congrats to Amanda. So we're just waiting for Amanda to write back. Amanda has how many seconds left? <laughs> oh man, they're a second countdown timer. <laughs> Guys, no one thing. Don't play Lorette in golf, and Alicia is a tough cookie. So there you go. You got two factual tidbits that I just told you. <laughs> that is too funny. Seconds left. Right. Seconds left, seconds left. But I heard you laugh, Lorette. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm here. Um Dawn said, congratulations to you, Linda. So we have Linda and Amanda so far. And then the next one was the first person to sign up, which was Mike. So Mike asked for the link before it even started. <laughs> is it Mike K? Because he's been super active. It was Mike K. Yeah, it's Mike K. Yeah, Mike, way to go. <laughs> so Mike was in. Uh, yeah, Mike says, everybody, we're saying congratulations to Mike. So Mike said, wow, thanks. Um, and Lorette, you are next for the next one. For picking someone? Yeah, for f picking someone. I'm going to say Nikitha because she's at the gym and she is like. Oh, no, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Nikita. All right. Yes. So waiting for. So Mike is here. So you know what? Amanda still hasn't confirmed. She might miss out on this. Oh, I'll have no. to pick somebody else. And uh, let's see, did, did Nikitha confirm? Can you text while you're, oh yeah, I see her on here. I'm <laughs> at the gym, but I, but signing up, yep, all right. So I wonder oh, if she man. put in some calorie burning for us three though, while she's at the gym. All right, you have to ask her that. <laughs> okay. I am all in. Yeah, if she could <laughs> do all of that, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. And so the, <laughs> Uh, Valerie said, I'll take it if Amanda doesn't answer. <laughs> so, Lorette, one more, one more choice here. One more choice. Did you have anybody else who really um, let's stood see. out? I was trying There's to ask. so many, that. though. That's a challenge. That's why I duck this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I was trying to see if Raina had anybody she wanted that she saw was really sticking out. Okay, hang on one second, guys. Really did quick. We get Violet. I know Violet did sign up. So and let's Violet see. sent people too. Oh, Violet sent people. Okay. Violet, are you still on? Because we know that you sent people here. So if you are still on, reply that you're Violet H, <laughs> that you are still here and that you signed up. And those are our four winners. So congratulations to everybody. Oh, That's Nikita awesome. signed in. She said, I am here, just a bad signal. So she's in. Okay. And then Violet was the other one. Yeah. Yeah, congrats, Violet. Yeah, I just saw she's here. All right. Congratulations, well, what, everybody. What a good crew. You guys, I will tell you, Wish I could give everybody a gift card because you guys are awesome. I, I mean that. And I don't – look, I knew being here that I would not want to pick the four winners because it's going to be hard. 
and Alicia Lorette are very good and they handled it. This is an amazing group. If you are half half as good as you are on the webinar, you'll crush this. You're giving wow. away free money. You're helping entrepreneurs. I don't care if it's a florist, a restaurant, a law mm. firm, a manufacturing place, an architect. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I try to help anybody, churches, nonprofits. Uh, it doesn't matter. Every Everybody. We, we had one this morning. I'll, I'll tell you guys, unrelated to anybody on the call. Uh, one of our members, he doesn't even know it yet. I'm going to actually call him on the way home in a minute. And this guy referred a deal. I just finished with the CPA team. He has he, he doesn't even know about it yet because I don't think the system's updated yet. You ready for this? This deal for this guy, $2.38 million. So realistically, wow. he may make... Um, and let me tell you what this company does that's getting 2.3 million. He may make a hundred thousand dollars on this deal potentially. It's a it's a California wow. big manufacturing company that does like iron gates. Y'all, you know what I'm talking about? Like gates for houses and stuff. I do, I do. And I'm just like, I never would have thought of that. I mean, my brain goes to like what pizza place can I go to or what. You know, I, I just think about it differently, you guys, but there's so many, so many things, right? There's so many businesses. There's no shortage at all. Um, it really is free. Yeah, I appreciate that question over and over again. Free. Um, if I if I offer the paid one, I would call and tell you, but you guys, it's free. It's free. So there is, there's no catch. Um, Brian, if this is so good, I love this every time. Why aren't you doing it? I am. I'm the number one affiliate. Now, I'm not going to tell her, don't tell all the other affiliates, but I've sold more than they have. And you know why? Because Alicia knows. I'm, man, I once sang karaoke into the wee hours in a contest <laughs> with Alicia. <laughs> knows it's true. And I can't sing, you guys. I can't sing. I once went to Top Golf. I can't play golf either. Hit the ball. And it went backwards and almost hit one of our uh, mastermind people. You guys, but one thing I go I'm good at is I'm not willing to quit. I'm not willing to give up. I'm not willing to accept my own shortcomings or weaknesses, right? It's not going to let it stop me. Um, somebody said, how much have you made? Uh, a large, 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 large sum far beyond anything I ever imagined. I want you to think about five and $10,000 pops and doing them over and over and over again. And if you, do y'all remember the Oprah episode? I don't remember how old I was. I would have been middle school or maybe high school. She gave like everybody in the audience a car. Yes. I mean, yes. it was real. Like, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. She was the most fired up ever. I swear to God, I want you to, if you haven't seen it, find that episode, find the video clip on YouTube or something. And I want you to think about how can you have that spirit of giving away money to businesses? Because you're connecting businesses to CPAs that are going to do the work. They're kind of conservative by nature. And look, don't, don't get caught up in how much money you're going to make. I know that's hard, easy to say for me. Don't get caught up in how much you're going to make. I want you to focus on how many people you can help. If you do that one thing, the odds of your success go through the roof. I have seen it happen personally and with lots and lots and lots of other people. Um, and Brian, James says on here, have that lady who won sign up, who won sign up the gym that she's at. <laughs> oh, hey, you like, know what? Oh, if she signs the gym up, oh God, what can we do? Um, we'll do something awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to let Alicia and Lorette tell me if she signs a gym up. We'll do something fun. There'll be an awesome online social party. We'll all hang out and we'll celebrate because I love that idea. He's right. There is no shortage. Um, I want you, to, I live in Atlanta. The great, oh, I live in the suburbs now, married kids, et cetera, right? But listen to this. The gym I go to was shut down by the state. Guess what that means? They're eligible for a period of time even if they made more money than ever before. That place I get my hair cut was shut down 
by the state. This is Georgia, a stereotypical, what you would call um, in the South, maybe more, more conservative than liberal. Right now, it's probably a 50-50 kind of state. But in general, this is fascinating. If you happen to live in California or Oregon or Colorado or New York, Minnesota, Ohio, other states, you will find they had way more restrictions, right? Way more restrictions. But but I'm going to tell you this just straight up. Can you do this? Yes. What percentages of businesses are qualified for the credit? We see around 71%. So if you submitted 10, odds are high, approximately seven will be eligible, okay? So think about that. It's not 100%, okay? I'm just keeping it real. Um, how do I know how much they're going to get? Well, we don't know until we do the work. Does the business have to pay on the front end? No. We do the work first. Cool? All right. I, I, Y'all, I'd stay here to 6 o'clock talking about it. Um, okay, Sue said, can she only sign up the gym if they were – if they still paid employees during 20 and 21. Yes, if they had no employees, it would be a waste of time. The money is designed to rebate payroll taxes, right? That's how they figure out how much you get that you paid. And in the spirit of government, they actually pay you more than you paid in. Only the government comes up with these kind of things, um, right? It's, it's complete insanity. But we will teach you everything. We'll get you started. Um, we have a fabulous, uh, I got a, two trainers. Um, I, I, I do some of the training. I'm okay. At the end of the day, there are so many members to model after that, that are just super successful. And y'all, I have a live event. If you happen to be in Tampa, we're doing it at our office or anywhere near that you want to drive over. There's no, I'm not charging anybody any fee or any of that stuff. You can see, you can see the facility the size, some of the team. Um, and, and if you sign up, you just reach out through support and I'll make sure you get a link. Because um, I, I basically sold the thing out without even marketing it. I didn't even advertise to the group. I leaked it out to the members that have been successful and they all grabbed the slots. But I limited it to 50 spots. So if you happen to be in the area, I'm happy to extend that to you and let you come. Everybody that's going to be there is, is pretty successful. Cool. Well, listen, everybody, thank you so much. Uh, Alicia, thank you. Lorette, thank you. Thank you. I'm, Thanks, I'm really happy to be here. I mean, honestly, guys, I'm super excited. This has been one of the, uh, a true joy, right? Doing this work, helping people. I don't even like accounting, but maybe right now I kind of do, right? I like it a lot more than I did a few years ago. It used to be like, oh my God, I got to do my taxes. Oh, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, right. That's what I went through. Now, now it's like, how many businesses can I help? Let me not focus on Brian and money. Let me focus on who I can help. Doesn't matter if they're a manufacturer, a church, a charity, a restaurant, whatever kind of business they have. That's it. So, all right. I'm going to be quiet, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so now I just want to troubleshoot with anybody who's having trouble. If you have to drop off, Brian, we understand. Uh, no, Lorette Raina and I are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lorette Raina and I just wanted to help anybody who is having trouble. So type help in the chat if you need help, if anybody needs help. And a lot of you are asking questions on you know, trainings. You know, what about a script? What about this? What about that? So you'll find out all about the training with Brian. So Brian, you're going to send them an email, you said, which will have the link for them to get yes. the next steps. So correct? if they okay. signed up, you will get four emails in rapid fashion in this. Okay. If, if all goes right in the world, they're not in your spam box. If okay. for some reason, if you don't get four emails, right, with a couple minor things, look in your, look in your spam box. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we email everybody that signed up. I'll do it tomorrow morning and I'll shoot okay. you guys an email just to make sure nobody slips through the cracks on me. Okay. Sue says, got all the emails. Mike said, got them all. So it looks like quite a few people have gotten them, uh, got them. So that is great. Uh, Tori says, got all the emails. Bianca got them. 
So Nadine, how do I choose um, agent ID? So Nadine, just put Nadine T. It could be your first name and last name together, or a lot of people are just doing their first name and their last initial. It's just like your user ID. And if you need to change it in the future, you can just let Brian's team know and they will help you. So finish filling that part out really quickly. Um, Nadine, anybody else need help filling out the form? Nadine, tell me when you're done. Just type done so I know that you're all good. <clears throat> Nadine T. Uh, Frankie says, make sure there are no spaces between your names. So Nadine T without spaces. Perfect. All right, who else needs help? This is like rapid fire helping. Faith said, got all my emails. Everybody else got all your emails? Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to keep um, Brian too much longer. Rhonda, I think Raina is helping you. Yes. Are you getting some help from Raina? Uh, Faith says, got all my emails. So Charmaine, in your email, there is like four things to do in that email, I think. Charmaine says you got three emails, not four. Uh, okay, you got them all. Never mind. Okay, okay, good, Charmaine. Sarah got them. Christy also is saying, Nadine, you can use a dash if you want to put like Nadine dash T. So Dawn says she's going to uh, fill it out after I finish work. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget, Dawn. Don't forget. Tiffany, keep looking for the other two. Terry got all four. Everybody's saying, uh, got them, got them. Stephanie said it was such an easy, breezy process to sign up. So thanks for that, Brian. Irma <laughs> said she's going to sign out up <clears throat> after she clocks out from work. I'm whispering. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Irma love and Don are at work, but you know what? They're both about Shout to. Shout out on that. Yep, Don, <laughs> I appreciate that. You guys and Irma M. Yep. Uh, so Frankie, when you see the um, training come over, just pay attention to the training as it comes over. Okay, Sue. Sounds good. Sarah says, this has been the best webinar ever, Brian, ever. Uh, Brian, love, I love Sarah. Everybody in this call are so sweet. This is awesome, you guys, because it, yeah, it's, it, if you don't know, Alicia knows, Lorette knows, man, sometimes on a call, like when you get done, you're like drained. It's like hard, but you know what? When it goes well and people say things like that, you're like, oh my God, I'm ready to go run a mile or two miles or whatever you're going to do, right? You just feel on top of the world. Feels That's good. Right. That's yeah. right. Hey, and just to show Brian how much we appreciate it because I know he's busy. And although he said he was trying to find a spot with us, the real yeah. truth is we <laughs> had to track him down. We I had know. to contact his fault. team members. I text, what? Brian's trying to get off now. I had to text him. <laughs> oh, I better hang up. He's right. <laughs> I had to text him 40 million times and be Whoa, like, oh, man, I our people come so uh, we're grateful we're grateful we're grateful so if um if you guys enjoy this webinar just type something in to the chat let brian know what you enjoyed most about this webinar how much you appreciated it and we will copy and paste all of it and send over your testimonials or compliments over to him how about that brian That's then you can run five miles Oh, well, let's not, let's not go too far with this stuff. <laughs> let's not go too far, you said. You guys are the best. Um, oh, my God. You know, you know, it's been so crazy, and I, I, I say this with all sincerity. I literally quit. I can't believe I'm going to admit this out loud, you guys, but this is the truth. I literally quit social media about wow. nine months ago. I've been that okay. overwhelmed that I just – I. <laughs> Can't do it. Like, I just can't do it. And I finally just said, all right, I'm going to follow all the real rules. Simplify your life. Find, you know, I just need to execute and do, you know, do one thing, then another, then another. And I I, I will tell you, simplifying, I, what is that lady that talks about simplification and cleaning? She's so right. Uh, I can't think of her name. Mm -hmm. she, and, you know, she talks about oh, we get what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that, that lady. Um, Rebecca loves her. Yeah, Mar Rebecca loves her, and I'm just like, yeah, she's really right, but I can't get rid of that. What's her name, Lorette? Lorette just said her name. What's Lorette. her name? Marie, Lil Rice, the Marie Kondo. That's her. Yeah, yeah Marie the Kondo, Kondo system or something like that. Yeah, no, it's it's so true, you guys. It works in anything. Simplify, break it down, 
break any problem down to just simple tasks, do one at a time, and then next, and get out of that overwhelm feeling. That's, I, I, it happens to me too. It happens to everybody. So what do you got to do? Simplify, break it down, put one foot in front of another and just knock it out. So right now you're thinking, how do I leave this webinar? I had a great time. I want to make money. What can I do to make money? I honestly, let's just be honest. I want to make money. All right. So what I want you to do is step back. Think of any business that maybe you have a friend that's either like he, they worked there a long time. They're a manager, whatever. They own it. It doesn't matter. Reach out to them. You should already have your website. It's instantly created. And see if you can get a few seconds. And I want you to say, I am working with a CPA firm that can help connect you to a government rebate program. It's free to start. That easy. And just get them to apply if they're interested. It's not even you. You're just referring them to somebody. That easy, you guys. If you do that one thing, and I want you to say, imagine if you could think of a couple people, and you just do that, odds are pretty high you're going to make a few thousand dollars on each one. You know, and you might make a lot more. Some of some of these deals are so big that we got people getting ten, twenty, and thirty thousand dollars, if not more. I just sent one guy a few hours ago seventeen thousand dollars, and I I messaged Vanessa. I said, Hey, who is that guy? I never heard of him. She goes, No, I don't know who he is either. <laughs> and there's so many examples of that. People we've never heard of, we've never had the opportunity to meet. They're probably not even in the Facebook group and they're just getting paid. Because if you think, if you take it away from how do I make money to how do I help other people, really does come together, really does. So I'll get off my soapbox, but you know what I mean. Irma said, I wanna quit my job. Uh, there's over 6,000 employees. I've been here seven years. I'd sign them up if I could, Irma. Think of the place you go and grab lunch or breakfast sometimes with your friends, your coworkers. That's your place. That's what I did. First one I did was a restaurant, a breakfast place. It's an Atlanta chain. I eat at one location near my house all the time, like literally twice a week. And I went in, I chit chatted with the uh, manager and she's like, yeah, Brian, I'm gonna give it to the owner. Awesome. That was it, I didn't do anything else. Never talked to the owner, never did anything. They talked to one of the accountants, done. Easy easy guys that's it mm, wow so let's see i think you've inspired so many people today <laughs> you know oh, so i'm always inspired i forgot my saw i should have worn my secret socks today this is of all days <laughs> of all days my kids are like what is that and i said look it's cool they're like yeah i don't know about that <laughs> still cool i like them they don't know the power of the socks. They don't know the power of the socks. <laughs> um, oh, here's a great question from Nikithi I just saw. If you cannot give them money, do they have to pay? Nope. They never pay a penny. It's completely performance-based. If, if they're oh, getting wow. money back, they pay. If they don't, you just thank them for their time. You know, the account accounting team, they'll thank them for their time, and they'll let them know they're not eligible. But fortunately roughly three quarters of them are eligible. So it's pretty good. Yeah, so um, I just saw somebody, Stephanie, or somebody was asking me to repeat that question. Um, you know what I would do is I would think about, this is just what I would do. If I was on the webinar, I would think about any business I'm connected to. It may be that I go to this little breakfast place called Jay Christopher's. It may be the little place like that. It may be my my brother's HVAC company. Contractors are good. HVAC's a good one. Painters are good. Restaurants are good. A large percentage of those, not all, but a large percentage, higher than 70 are qualified. Plumbers, um, mechanical kind of businesses, um, manufacturing businesses. But I think of any business that I have a connection to. And, I, you know, if it was a restaurant, I would just say something like, you know, hey, Alicia, how are you doing? You know, you're chit-chatting. You're like, look, hey, I, I am referring business to a CPA firm, and the CPA firm specializes in government grants and rebates. I, I, I'd, love to, I'd love to show you, uh, I'll see I'm tongue-tying myself on the webinar, and I would just say, I would love to refer you over. You may be eligible for up to $26,000 an employee. It may be that easy. Um, I'll, 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 I'll smooth that out, and we'll do a training, and 
I literally was making that up a second ago, but it, but it really is that easy. You just say, um, they sign up. It's, it's just a couple lines. There's no obligation. They talk to one of the team. Everybody wants free money. I, it's the one thing, right? Remember early in the call, we talked about value. If you don't have value, right? People aren't going to buy. But I'll tell you what has value. Free money, right? Free money is value. So that being said, <laughs> I would tell anybody and everybody, because the easiest marketing ever is the people you already know. You're just referring them over. Yep, you're not involved. You're not in the middle. You're just referring them over. Here's a link. Here's the link. You check it out. I would set up a short link. Like this, if it was me, I'd set up a short link and then redirect that to your to, to the link you got right there. And, and there's a training in the system that shows you how to do it. But I would set that up and I would simply refer the couple people you're connected with, people that already know you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get out of your marketing magic yet. I would do step one, people that are in that immediate circle, people that you have a rapport with, a connection. Maybe you spend money at the business or maybe you got a buddy that works there, has been worked there for 17 years. Doesn't matter. But those are the people I would, I would reach out. Um, easiest thing ever. And we'll show you all the things we do with LinkedIn and Facebook and email and things like that. But you want the easiest, lowest hanging fruit of all time. It's the ones where you have that personal relationship. So true. It's just like on this call, you have a relationship with Lorette and with Alicia, right? All of you do. I do. Right. So we're all connected by that relationship. So it's, it's, it's true. So uh, they only pay a fee if they get a credit. Yes. They do not pay a fee, Terry. Uh, there is no fee, not a dollar. Um, so the company works up front at no charge. They do ask them to sign a service agreement, but the agreement basically says if you're not owed any money, there is no fee. If you are owed money, you can choose to pay up front or pay after you get the money. Like it's really, really, really easy. Can it be a franchise business? Like a franchise, like a... I don't know, um, like a Burger King or a McDonald's, a Popeye's or something. Yes, as long as the business owner doesn't have so many businesses that he's he or she's over 500 employees full time. They can have unlimited part time, but that full time cap is 500. And if imagine like a strip mall, imagine the guy that might own a suntan, uh, you know, a tanning bed place, a Mexican restaurant and a nail salon all on the same strip plaza. I can see them all over the place. The, as long as the three of those together is not over the 500 full time, the way it works, this is kind of cool from an accounting standpoint, is they, they combine, they call it aggregation, but they combine those businesses together. So if one of the businesses were eligible, if the guy or the gal owned three businesses, all of the businesses are eligible. It's very interesting how it's written. So if if you own three businesses and two are not eligible, but your restaurant was, for the exact same period your restaurant's eligible, the other two become eligible as well. There's all these little nuances that it's too much to get into on the webinar, but it really gets pretty out of hand how cool it is. I love that. I love that. And so when you say get out of hand, how cool it is, I mean, it's it's like getting out of hand with excitement. Yeah, with excitement. You know? It gets out of hand with like craziness. Like, Alicia, think about this. I mean, imagine if you could make in a day, whoa, your best year. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy, right? That's out of hand. That's, that's off the team. That's bananas. I don't know all right. the words. All the adjectives and adverbs and all the grammar, right? Listen, it's that kind of insane. I want you to think, we have a guy who's way more motivated than Brian is, I can tell you right now. The guy went door to door and signed up like 60 businesses in one day. Oh my gosh. I couldn't do it. You guys, I, when I said, put yourself out there and be uncomfortable, I couldn't do it. 
Alicia, you remember that time we were in Vegas at the Mastermind and there was that one lady that came unannounced and just kept like, <laughs> yes. you know what I'm talking That's about. That's all you had to say, yes. You know it. Oh my God. That gosh. lady. Never that forget. Lady, super successful because she doesn't know any better. She, you know what I mean? Right. She literally has no boundaries. She just <laughs> crushed it. So literally no boundaries. And she crushed it. So if you're willing to make yourself uncomfortable, like for me, it was talking to a few people I knew, right? And that's how I started. And then I signed, I mean, everybody says, yes, I'm not asking them for any money. I, I'm not even involved. I'm just referring them to an accounting firm. Done. Next. You could make a post, and I think we have it in the members area, the post that we wrote. You could post it on Facebook. And I guarantee you, if you copy this post, and post it, like if you're active on social media, you will have a few people sign up or ask you for information. Free, power of free is very powerful. Mm. And then free money, even better. But <laughs> I mean, every you guys were all ready for the free money when um, when Brian was ready to give it away. Isn't that the truth? Everybody was ready for the Everybody free money. Was. Everybody was. Everybody's like me, I, need, I would like that free money. All right, well, you come down here, you come to my office, I will have it in cash. Two hundreds and a fifty. Um, oh, I love it. No, but on a serious note, you guys, um, this is just easy. It's the U.S. Somebody said, who's giving away? The United States Treasury, right, is where the money comes from. I'll show you. How about this? I'm going to show you what the money looks like. I have a stack of checks here payable to one of my companies, and I'm going to show you what the business owner gets. And this will make it, I think this will make it real. Because sometimes it's not real until you see things. I get that. So I'm going to show you. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm going to show you a bunch of checks, but they look, they look like that. Is that right? Okay. All right, here's, let's see. Here's a check for $24,000 to one of my businesses. Twenty-four wow. grand. And so each one, this is all the same business. This is a check for 12,000. Here's a check for 14,000. And this is a small company, 2,000 and 9,000. I think it's like $90,000. These checks, they come one at a time. Now you wanna know if they pay up front, you get paid right away. What if they wanna pay later? Well we don't want all the checks to go to the business owners and then us to have to go like collect money, right? Nobody wants to do that. I promise you, not a good idea. So yeah. what we do is the checks come in, they come from the government and they go into this lock box. They go in my coffee mug, <laughs> they go into the lock box. And then when the checks come in, the middleman comes in, takes it and guess what? disperses the money to us and to the business and they do it on each check and the beauty is because the check comes number one number two you know one after another potentially six checks and that is why that is why we do it in that manner um it's it's just smart you don't want to be in the business of having to go chase money nobody does um are there other methods other than direct deposit? Yeah, Bill, we could do wire. We could do all kinds of things. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be direct deposit. There can be, there can be other methods for sure. Um, well, cool. Well, you guys, that is the scoop. That is the exact scoop on everything. Right? Can absolutely do it. There is no trick. The only catch is it's hard, and that's a good catch because. Business probably can't do it themselves. I can't do it myself. And you may ask yourself this question. Are there other companies trying to do this work? There is about a dozen real companies out there. And ourselves and one other are based around accountants. There's a bunch of them that use offshore people in India. And there are the other group that use software to do it. So when I make the argument, right, when I talk about why, right, if I'm talking to somebody and they're like, well, why would I want to work with you? Well, you notice I'm going to say things like, 
let me look for words that I like. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for the, well, okay. I'm going to say things like real American CPAs. Now, why would I say that? Well, it's because the other people don't use real American CPAs, right? All these things. And why I put pictures, I put pictures on the website. These are real case studies, right? You've got lots and lots of case studies. Um, they just have to fill out a form, right? Really easy. But at the end of the day, um, I put pictures. If you ever thought I'd be holding hands with John Seuss on a website, uh, Alicia, it never <laughs> crossed my mind that that would happen in my lifetime. But but it did. Don't ask me. It did. The, the photo lady was like, no, no, go like this. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Listen, real people, real CPAs, um, multiple offices, audit defense, you know, transparent, all the pricing, everything's up front, power of three, three different CPAs, you know, boom. We even have, I didn't even mention this, but I'll mention it. We have the option for the business to get a rap, you know how H&R Block and similar companies do like a rapid refund where you don't have to wait on getting your money from the government? Right, right, right. We got the same thing. John, the CEO, hooked us up with a hedge fund that'll advance the business owner their money in a very short amount of time so they don't have to wait. Now, the good news is that means we all get paid much faster. You get your money right away. The bad news is, you know, the business has to pay a fee. Right. And, you know, the the hedge funds, they, they aren't out. To, it isn't always about helping people, you know. So. Yeah, it's, but it's really cool. Like at the end of the day, anybody can do this. A hotel. Absolutely. I.T. company. Absolutely. Right. Anybody may be qualified at the end of the day. I always say this HVAC 100 um, percent. Why would. Why would a business not want to find out? You know, the worst they find out is they're not eligible and that's okay. And then you feel good because you at least, you did the work, right? You feel good. Healthcare, absolutely. Home healthcare is a great one, Robin, if you're thinking of that kind of company. Like a group home might be a good fit, Robin uh, Jennings. Um, Frankie, yes, but don't ask me to get into that. But yes, it's such a good question, Frankie. Um, but no, at the end of the day, this is it. There's, you know, there's a team behind it who put addresses, phone numbers, and look, um, the team's not perfect. Nothing about this is perfect. I'm going to tell you that right now. Anybody that says everything is perfect lives in la la land, fantasy world. Um, you want to know our problem? We are crushing it. We are growing like gangbusters. And sometimes the new employees, I, you got to get them trained. Get them up to speed so they don't do silly things. It's just, it's a problem because of growth. Um, so I always tell people, you know, don't don't expect everything to be perfect. Just know, uh, my friend Mario used to say this thing, massive imperfect action. And you know what? I want you to think about that. I want you to find how can you take massive imperfect action? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just think about what you can do the church, maybe a church you go to or your mom goes to, right? Maybe that restaurant, it doesn't matter. There's no money. You're not asking for any money. As a matter of fact, you're not even, you're not even three-waying them into some kind of introduction or none of that silliness. You're giving them a link, you're referring them, and that's that. And that's it. You're not in the middle. Now, if you choose to get in the middle and help one of the steps, they got to turn in some documents, kind of like when you're getting a house. If you choose to do that, you can make a higher percentage commission. But you don't have to. Like, I don't do it most of the time, honest. Um, there's even a calculator. If you go through the process, don't, y'all don't go and fill out a bunch of fake test, <laughs> tests on the calculator, because then I have to go delete, 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 delete. Uh, but there's a calculator where the business can get an estimate of how much they're getting. But it really is this easy. Their business name, what industry are they in, their name. This isn't rocket science. Anybody can do this. I don't care if you've never been on a webinar. You don't have any expertise. You're not a marketer. It doesn't matter. 
does not matter. You can do this. If you ever said, I've never been successful, you can do this. I had that guy, the guy that was going to quit. This just wasn't working. It was BS. It was that. And everybody in the group said, hey, no, it's working. Just give it a chance. And he did. Credit to him. He did. And he's been successful now. So it's it's cool. All of you can do it. Yep, home health care is a good one. Um, yeah. No, at the end of the day, that is uh, – you know, Christy, I don't know what that is. And my get – my Christy Erickson, my best guess is the answer is no for you. Um, that you don't, you're not, you're not doing backup withholding. I honestly don't know the answer on that, um, to your question. She's filling out a, a form, uh, getting, getting set up to get paid in the every system. Um, but no, she is an can, action taker. Wow. Yeah, Let me just... Erickson, you know what? Hey, did she win a gift card? I don't think she did, but how about this? I got extra five gift cards. How about a hundred bucks each for five action takers? We'll just give them out <laughs> right now. Why not? Why not? I mean, Christy Erickson, number one. We only have four left, though. <laughs> okay, I see some Vanessa's other people. Have... Y'all going to have to get the names to Vanessa. Uh, okay. Raina will, yes. Raina will. Raina, Christy... you'll get them to Vanessa. I already texted her and told her we were doing a giveaway, so she'll know Okay. About. Raina's just getting all the emails. Christy, give your email to Raina. I saw that there were quite a few of you who are already filling out the forms. Like, you are already filling out all of the stuff. Um, Frankie has been filling out the form. So Frankie, put your email in for Raina. You're number two. So now we've got three left. Who else? Somebody else was showing me. Uh, Rhonda has been like all over this. She's having some trouble signing up because of something on her computer. She's not giving up. <laughs> and so Raina's on the phone with her helping. And I just think for the staying here until it gets done she was not going to give up she was not going to leave until we helped her sign up so i'll say Rhonda would be number three and let me see i saw someone else that was already filling in forms uh let's see anybody else doing their forms right now i saw somebody else sending me a question about doing their forms uh let's see <laughs> lauren um, G was filling out forms. I saw that. And there was one other person who was filling it. Lorette, are you still here? Do you, did you see the other person that was filling out forms? I'm here. Think, but... Was it you? Oh, you didn't see it. I think it might've been Stephanie Strong, Stephanie who's been Strong like was, yep. super active. Huh? <laughs> so Stephanie, is that you? You're already filling out forms? And then I just want to hear from one person. So Tolu, you say you're already generating leads. Tolu is already generating leads. I just just read that. Um, did you see that, Brian? I have already generated leads. So you're already reaching out to people and texting people, business wow. owners. Is that what you're going, wow. Tolu? I I don't even see that one. I, I I'm gonna have to scroll up. Uh, hang on, there's a lot. This, oh, I see it. Uh, last name starts with an O. Yeah. Totally, there you go. Oh, I, have, uh, I got another person say I'm texting people right now. Listen, to Toriana. Toriana, yeah, guys, unbelievable. Let me let me give you let me do this. I'm gonna give you some ideas. Let me tell you, in the last couple minutes, let me see if I can see this. I'm gonna see the some of the business, some of the deals that have come in in the last few minutes. There's so many. Um, all right, uh, new deals created today all right so holy cow uh united methodist church just came in um out west 520 area code um a, a water service company a pizza place a mexican food grocery store a child care business an elder care business something called purple haze i have no idea um Another one uh, looks to be Recios Group, some LLC. I don't know what they do. But you guys, these are coming in literally in the last probably 15, 20 minutes. So there's so many coming in. So many things. A staffing company. Look at this. Oh, here's my favorite. Oh, from Jeff Hershey. I should have guessed. Test. Test, test from Jeff. Um, 
Yeah, a Thai restaurant, a communications company, a law firm. These are all, you know, just at some point today right now, coming in today after lunch. There's you can do this now when you're in the system, right? You'll have access to like a back office, like a portal. This is mine. So 900, I have 900 deals in welcome call complete, 740 deals, documents being collected. You can see all this as it comes in, right? The real good numbers though are 150 with the CPAs. You see down at the bottom, 71 being reviewed. And then my favorite are the 234 at the bottom. Closing department means uh, time to get paid. Time to get paid. So, but you get access to a portal and you'll be able to track all your stuff. Um, super, super simple. Um, it's mindlessly easy. It's intuitive. It's not hard. Um, only if we make things hard, right? Keep things super simple, silly. If you do that, it all works. Like Toriana, who said, I'm texting. So smart. So Nikithia asked a good question. She said, basically, we don't get paid until they get the money. Is that right? Not exactly. So Nikithia, there's three options to pay. One option is pay in full upfront, like at the time the work is completed. So, in, you know, it could be in two to four weeks from, you know, when you submitted your deal. Another option is to pay a deposit upfront and the rest later. Both of those options have you getting paid right away. The third option, if they choose to defer until the money comes in, if they take the advance from the hedge fund, you can get paid right away. But if they don't take the advance and they want to wait on the money, the fee is higher. So you get paid more, but you just get paid later, if that makes sense. Fastest I've seen somebody get paid, Anna Sharon, um, sorry for the butchering of your name, Anna Sharon, um, is uh, I think 13 days was the single fastest I had seen. Average is like that three to four week range on the people that pay up front. On the ones that defer, the IRS is typically taking 12 to 16 weeks to pay out if they don't take the rapid advance. That's the government, y'all. It is what it is. Okay. I love how Lorene said there is so much in the portal back office. Already going through the portal back office. I love how Jacqueline says I'm making my leads list right now. I'm like, you go, you go. So people are just, whew, they're at it. <laughs> I love so. it. I love it, you guys. No, this is, you guys, this is the, this is basic marketing. You're just going to apply basic strategies and you will be successful. You don't need to be a rock star. You don't need to be the best of the best. Just be you. And you know what? You'll be successful. It's that easy. One foot in front of another. Keep it simple. Don't complicate things. Refer. Let the CPAs decide. Don't You don't decide if somebody's eligible. I never make that decision. A lot of times I've said, yeah, I guarantee that business isn't eligible. And you know what? They were. How did I know they didn't lose a bunch of money and qualify under the guidelines? You know, not everybody's advertising how financially how they are doing. People don't come out and tell you that. You'd be fascinated to see how many are actually eligible. It's, I mean, it's sad because that means all these businesses were hurt by the pandemic, but on the positive, you can make a difference here. So it's, it's cool. At the gym still. I love it, Nikithia. She's still at the gym. She literally did just do cardio for me and Alicia. Don't leave Lorette <laughs> hanging either. Um, <laughs> I'm serious. Love it, love it. <laughs> guys, awesome, you guys. No, this is super cool. Listen, you can do this. I signed up. First, first business was a breakfast place. Second business was my brother. Third business was a guy I played pokers with brother's business. Like, probably the first eight or 10 deals I signed up, I had like a level of connection to the business. And then I started doing um, Facebook messages on people's Facebook pages, and I did LinkedIn messages. And then beyond that, I, I did some stuff I don't want to tell. I did some cool like email stuff. But I will tell you, there's a guy that did 60 something deals in December. Uh, he has a full time job doing something else. He did 60 odd deals using LinkedIn. So you absolutely can do it. Uh, somebody asked about paid ads. 
There are a few marketers doing paid ads. Uh, Bill McIntosh, he's a good dude. He's done paid ads. He's been successful. I would say it's in the minority. Most people are not doing paid ads. I'm not saying you can't. Of course you can. But most people are not. Cool. All right, just reading the comments right here. We know Brian has to go, so making sure everything, <clears throat> everybody has the form filled out. If you need help, you have got, I'm going to do a countdown now. We've got three minutes left. You've got three minutes <laughs> to ask if you need help filling out the form to make sure that you get signed up. Now you only have two minutes and 40 seconds. So oh, anybody man. else? Uh... <laughs> oh, let me answer Nikithia. Nikithia said, Brian, I want to understand um, businesses shouldn't have to pay third parties to get free money. Agree. So, Nikita, I want you to think about in the U.S., there are thousands and thousands and thousands of accounting firms, right? So the accounting firms do the work for the business, for business and people, and they get paid a fee. I want you to think about there's tens of thousands of lawyers in the country. Same thing. They, they do professional work and they earn a fee. So that's all that's happening here. The accounting firm is doing the math and the accounting and they're earning a fee. Um, but it's a good question. I'm glad you asked. You absolutely could do it yourself. But just like everybody who hires accountants to do their taxes or hires lawyers to deal with that stuff, most people end up hiring a licensed professional. You don't have to, but most people do. All right. Sounds good. That leaves you guys with one minute, 45 seconds left. Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> I told you guys she's not playing. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your time. I don't want your wife calling me and being like, Alicia. Uh, my wife called me a minute ago and I just said, hey, I'm on a webinar with Alicia. She said to tell you hi. But uh, <laughs> she was literally asking, uh, you guys, I, I can't make this up. Can I stop at the store? And she gave me a list of things that I had to get. Once the list goes over like two things, I am like a deer in headlights. <laughs> Two things or less, easy. I walk in, I grab it, I leave. If it's more than that, ouch. You're like, really? I have to go get I'm just all like, of it. please, can I order that click list from Kroger and have it delivered? Come on. I know. I am an Instacart pro. Like Instacart, I have Instacart. That's it. Instacart. Yes. Uh -huh. I have the Premier account or <laughs> whatever it is. I'm always like, Lorette, do you want my Instacart login? They have a family share plan. Um, yeah. Hey, Nikita, you know? we got a great agent a member he's in new york city near the fashion district um if you're in the members area i'll connect you to him he's he's super he's the guy that did the 60 deals in december while he has a day job pretty pretty fascinating there are a lot of stories like that of people that have another job that have just been killing it totally killing it there are a lot of people that used to have a job and then they quit their jobs because they were killing this so of course well. i know we've got some job quitters on here like people who are sitting at their their job right now. Somebody told me she's like one of 6,000. I can't remember who it was at the office and can't yeah. wait to quit. I was like one of 6,000. Yeah, 6,000 people. In that office. Yeah. You know, you guys, when we started this company uh, two years ago, I guess it was just Brian, right? And we have 100-ish employees, 100 and change, something like that. Um, I got to tell you, I like less employees. <laughs> I love less employees. Um, it's, man, employees are tough. You know, I mean, I, I'm a good manager of myself. I am not, I will admit to anybody that asks, I am not a good manager. I have a lady in my office, Nicole, that kind of runs a show here. And I'm like, mm -hmm. she's always coming to me. I'm like, Nicole, you're in charge, not me. I said, that's, not, that's your call. You run that team. I don't run it. You want me to run it for you or you want to run it? So. Yeah, crazy, you guys. We got Facebook. Yeah, somebody asked about a Facebook group. It was one of the bonuses that I never gave you. <laughs> yeah, I just signed up to find out what the bonuses were. It was a secret. I know. There's what? there's so much. I mean, it's a no-brainer to sign up. Hours. So. Can't do yeah. it. If you, guys, if you guys haven't signed up, your, I don't know, your fingers aren't working on the keyboard today or something, let us know so we can help you out. But um, everybody else should be signed up now. You guys have 10 seconds left. Are you signed up? <laughs> I saw. I signed up. You know why? I signed up so I could see what emails my team mails out. 
So I signed up under a fake name. They don't even know it's me. I have a <laughs> fake name. I'm an agent and I get to see uh -huh. every email they send because they block me from seeing the emails. So now I got I got that covered. Listen, if you follow up with every deal you send in, we have a whole team. There's about 65 people that's full-time job is to call any business that submits an application. They either book an appointment or they uh, submit their info and they call them. They walk through a script and they pass them over uh, to QC. And from there, it goes to one of the accountants. It's kind of the walkthrough, the back end walkthrough. But okay. you don't have to do any of that kind of nurturing and follow up. Follow up's where it's at. And if you don't do it, most of the time, you're not successful. But I built follow up into the model so you didn't have to do it because people are not good at follow up. They're not. I hate to admit it, I'm not. You wanna know why you get a lot of emails from marketers? If they're promoting yeah. something, because you don't yeah. look at them, you don't look at them all. And and if we if you don't get reminded, you forget. You're busy. Life gets in the way. Follow up is key, you guys. And that goes true when you're if you're talking to somebody, or if you're sending an email, don't don't do it once. I believe in ten to twelve times. If you do things ten to twelve times, you will the the people that want to sign up will, and the people that don't still won't right it's that easy yes yeah, so bianca i love that bianca you lost connection for a minute i'm sending you the link i'm putting it in the chat for everybody so you should see it um bianca you should see it and then if you guys have any questions really about you know things that are inside the program and all of that kind of stuff um oh so linda Raina and Lorette will send out a link shortly for this replay so um, that they can watch it. So if they just want to sign up, it would be the same link that, you know, we're using here. So, you you know, you, it's the one that I just put in the chat. If they want to watch the replay, as soon as we get up the replay, you guys will have the opportunity to um, to share it. It's going to be on the learning tube on one of those you know, the replay pages. How many of you are new to the learning tube? Like this is your first time on the learning tube session and now you get to come on and see such an amazing presentation with Brian, right? <laughs> so I think there's some of you on here today that it's like your first time on and what a big win. Uh, Bianca, yes, okay. Robin, your first time. Kimberly, your first time. How'd you guys find us? Uh, Christy, we know you've been on before, but um, I'm, I know Bianca, um, I know you from Facebook, but Kimberly, how did you find us? And um, all right, so anybody else? Vicki, how did you find us? And Dawn. Um, and Janelle, Dawn, you found us through Linda. So anyone else? Uh -huh, Instagram, okay, yep, yep. Wow. Uh, I'm all over your Instagram every day. You guys are <laughs> my favorite people to follow. All right. Yeah. Brian does, you know, give me a like on my Instagram there. So, well, I gave up Facebook, but not Instagram. But not <laughs> yeah, it was my new, it's my new place to go and escape. It's just like looking, right? That's right. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kimberly. Good. Good. All right, Brian. I just wanted to say thank you so much. Everybody here is signed up. They are good to go. We are all so excited. And, you know, any last words that you have on, last words that you have on this webinar before we wrap it up and say goodbye to everybody? Because Lorette and I just wanted to say thank you so much for, you know, finally agreeing that you could make <laughs> Ali and Lorette. No. No, I, I, my only words are thank you to both of you, uh, and, uh, to everybody on the call. Thank you guys for coming. And yeah. I hope you have a fabulous day. And thanks for spending a little bit of time with us. Okay. And congratulations on, you know, creating a program that helps people by giving them money. <laughs> you give away money and it helps so many people. It's like that win-win-win situation. I think this is like a four-way win. So it's just such a good win for everybody. And you know, when you're in a in a situation that's like that, where it's a win for everybody, it becomes something that feels really good. And I can tell from <laughs> just the way that you are right now and how happy you've been since you've been doing this, that, that you know, you're really excited about the way that you've been able to help so many people, businesses, the businesses that have employed their people, which we all wanna give a round of applause to, right? So 
congratulations and thank you for being like a, an amazing member of society. Are you still on the school board, by the way? I am. I got a school board meeting Monday. <laughs> sometimes I love them and sometimes I dread them. And um, this will be a good one, I think, because everybody will be coming off vacation. So two meetings a month. It's it, it's a good give back that is not about, once again, it's not about money. It's it's uh -huh. it's a way to be involved in the community where you're just helping and you're not worried about what's in it for you, that kind of thing. Right, right. I love that. I love it. So. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, Brian. Everybody bye. say bye, Brian, in the chat box. Bye. Okay, see, see you. Bye. We'll sure... <laughs> bye. We'll make sure to have bye. the replay out to you guys as soon as we can. I know you're ready for the replay. What a great call. Thanks, everybody, so much for being on here um, and really, really crush it with this system. Go hard. And, you know, once we get the replay up, please feel free to share it with a friend or two. It seems like just such a really great opportunity and just so easy to share. So I'll make sure that we get that done for you as soon as possible. Thanks for being on here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.